Welcome back everyone, this is my boys season 3 trailer video. Obviously there's a bunch of new characters and a whole bunch of big twists so we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the episodes. I will be doing videos for all the episodes when it releases this summer. I'll explain what's going on with Jensen Ackles' Soldier Boy character. He's like a version of Captain America, obviously, as you can see from all the footage, if you're not familiar with the comic book backstory. But I think the even bigger thing is the fact that Butcher is getting compound V-powers. So if you're not familiar with the boys comic book, in the comics, Huey actually gets compound V-powers. So like the boys want to even the odds against the seven. So they wind up stealing some compound V, giving it to Huey, and Huey just gets a measure of super strength. That's the only superpower that he gets. So I think the whole idea with season three is that they're giving Butcher a version of that storyline. And the idea is whether or not Butcher is going to turn out to be just as bad as Homelander when he gets superpowers. And that's why they're giving him superpowers that look similar to Homelander's, only just a little bit different. Like the vial of compound V that he's holding here is green, not blue like it usually is. So it's probably some more advanced version of the compound V formula. The two powers that we see him demonstrating are heat vision like Homelander's and super strength also just like Homelander's. Now probably not quite as strong as Homelander and his heat vision probably not quite as crazy as Homelander's. But as you can see it's meant to be very close to a version of Homelander's level of power. If baby laser eyes could see him now he'd be so proud. The character here with all the guns and bullets on him that he's beating up, like the one that he super punches, is a version of gunpowder. He's meant to be a parody of the Punisher from Marvel Comics. But the idea is that Homelander will still be the most powerful character on the show. That's part of the whole idea is that I think they want to tease that Butcher might be able to do some damage to Homelander, but he wouldn't be able to outright kill him. I think they're still saving that for Ryan's character. I think Ryan is meant to be the only one who will actually be able to physically kill Homelander. You see him losing it just a little bit during the trailer too, Homelander style, like his eyes sort of light up like Homelander's eyes light up, and he gets ready to rip off that necklace that Butcher gave him that belonged to Becca at the end of season two. They basically took him into protective custody with Mallory's group at the end of season two and they're just going to be slowly trying to take care of him and train him to eventually fight Homelander someday I think. Depends on how many seasons the show runs. They probably save that for like the final season of the show. But talking about Jensen Ackles soldier boy character so it seems like they're thawing him out of some sort of deep freeze or cryostasis whatever's going on here like he has that giant beard but he's ripping the medical probes off and that breathing apparatus. There's a bunch of scenes of him in a jungle fighting so that could either be flashbacks or that could be in present day and he could just be a POW or because Vought always lies about where they keep their superheroes, Vought could just be keeping him in stasis deep in a jungle somewhere and this could just be the story that they tell everyone like oh he's been a POW this whole time, that's where he's been. As you can see he has a version of Captain America's costume from the Avengers and the Marvel movies only it's military green instead of blue like Captain America's but like the helmet looks exactly like Captain America's helmet with just a couple minor changes. The difference with Jensen Ackles soldier boy is that you just have to imagine the most asshole douchey version of Captain America. Vought bills him as the first official superhero like they give him the actual Captain America backstory. He was created by Vought during World War II but we know that Stormfront was technically the world's first superhero created by Compound V. Soldier Boy in the comics was America's first attempt during World War II to create a superhero. That happened after Stormfront got her powers. The other big change from the comics is that the original Soldier Boy wound up dying during World War II. In the present day of the comic book Boys Universe, there's another version of the character who just uses the name and he's like Captain America 2, but it's a totally different version of the character. What they've done on the TV show is just combine both of those versions in Jensen Ackles' character. So there's no second version of the character. He is the original and he's just been in a deep freeze till present day, just like Captain America being stuck in the ice during the first Captain America movie. The reason why Stan Edgar pulls Soldier Boy out of the fridge, so to speak, is to be a counter to Homelander. Stan Edgar is playing four dimensional chess with Homelander. Like there's no one actually powerful enough to kill Homelander on Earth right now. Like Ryan is not ready to kill Homelander. So Stan Edgar needs to find ways to control Homelander and Soldier Boy is just his next version of that. Soldier Boy's powers are just like Captain America's powers. He's not nearly as powerful as Homelander, but he's way better at working the crowd. Like the people love him more than they love Homelander almost. And that's one of Homelander's weaknesses. Like he's thirsty for everyone's attention. That's the whole way they got him to back off at the end of season two. They still have all that evidence of him doing all those terrible things that will make everyone hate him and he can't stand that. Like he needs everyone to like him. Homelander indulging his fetish by going straight to the source, actually milking a cow. This brand new character is played by Lori Holden. You'll probably recognize her from The Walking Dead earlier seasons. She's playing a version of Crimson Countess from the comics who is very clearly a parody of Scarlet Witch from the Avengers the Marvel movies. 
All this footage of A-Train is actually from a music video, if you can't tell. It's a big parody of that Kylie Jenner Pepsi ad from a couple years ago during the protest that was really, really tone deaf. Pepsi got in a lot of trouble for actually making it. You might remember the commercial. Like, they tried to say, oh, you know, everybody just chill out and have a Pepsi. That'll fix all your problems. So that's what's going on here during this version of the music video where he's trying to stop the protest using his special energy drink. The boy band looking group here might be a version of the Teenage Kicks, which is a group from the comics that are a parody of the Teen Titans. A-Train used to be on their group. The character with the star on his chest is Supersonic. He's not from the comics. He's a creation on the TV show. So he's meant to be a rival for A-Train. Like he'll be a parody of Kid Flash or Wally West in the way that A-Train is a parody of The Flash. Supersonic is also supposed to be Starlight's old boyfriend when she was on the Young Americans team. They're meant to be a parody of the Young Avengers. In the comics, she had a relationship with Drummer Boy when she was on that team before she joined the Seven. So Supersonic seems like he's getting that plot from the comics. And he'll just cause some problems for Huey when he comes back into her life and into the limelight. There's a lot of funny Ashley moments in this trailer too. Like every chance the boys gets, they try to crap on her character. To make a Family Guy reference, she's kind of like the Meg of the boys universe. Like any chance that any character gets to yell at her or put her down or do something terrible to her, they take it. But it does look like she finally gets some from PJ Burns' character who directed their Justice League parody movie, Dawn of the Seven, last season. Girls get it done, and it definitely looks like Ashley is getting it done with him in the bathroom. Speaking of horny, too, there's this funny moment with the deep getting it on with this woman, looking at the octopus, and I think this is just a continuation of that horny dolphin plot from season one, where, like, the dolphin was super horny for him trying to get it on, and he was like, you know, maybe we should get to know each other first. As if he would actually try to get it on with the dolphin, like the whole joke that Aquaman has sex with fish, which they actually just did on Peacemaker a little while ago, too. I'm so f sick of that rumor. It's not a rumor. You bury. So in this scene, it's like the deep is getting horny by looking at the octopus, and the octopus, because he can talk to aquatic life, the octopus is talking dirty to him. This brand new character is a police officer superhero called Blue Hawk. He might be a version of Groundhawk, who's a version of Wolverine from the comics. I think this scene is Frenchy, just looking at a bunch of evidence that they have against Vought, covering up the superheroes killing innocent people. This big dance number with Kimiko and Frenchy seems like she's hallucinating or he's hallucinating and they're inside a mental institution or a hospital of some kind. Like it's just meant to be a big Bollywood number in someone's head. The only thing that they don't really get into during this first teaser trailer is Victoria Newman's character. Remember, she's also secretly a superhero, still questionable as to where her allegiance lies, whether or not she's actually working with Stan Edgar at Vought, because Victoria Newman is a version of Vic the Veep from the comics, who was the former CEO of Vought before Stan Edgar became CEO. She's called Vic the Veep in the comics because she is the vice president of the United States currently. So because Victoria Newman is running this big political operation, it sounds like she also might be trying to get into the White House too. And it's just the boys sort of heading in the direction of the comic book plot where they move to the White House because Vought's true goal, like Stan Edgar's true goal, is to control the White House. Control the government because that's where true power lies. Like he can affect policy, he can do whatever he wants, create whatever laws he wants if he can control the government. And in order to do that, he just needs someone inside the White House, like the president, the vice president, who are sympathetic or working for him. But if you've read the comics, there obviously is a, a bunch of big twists that happen at the end of the comic book story. I don't think they're going to be doing most of those, or they'll be doing them in very different ways. So the plot on the boys' TV show will be different from the comic book plot. But there are a bunch of Easter eggs, like you see a bunch of familiar things here. I will do more videos when we get more trailers, like the next big trailer will tell us more of the actual story and we'll learn more about what's going on with Soldier Boy's character during the series. It will be fun to see Jensen Ackles play a superhero and just shake everything up on the show. He's going to cause all kinds of problems for all kinds of people, Homelander and the boys alike. But post all your theories in the comments below about Butcher's character. Once he gets his compound V powers, how crazy do you think he's going to get? Because the whole idea in the show is that he's meant to be just as bad as Homelander, just in a different direction. Like, the things that he does are just as questionable as the things that Homelander does most of the time. So they're meant to be, like, two sides of the same coin. Everyone click here for my brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer video and the first look at Hayden Christensen as Darth Vader during the episodes. And click here for my brand new Marvel Moon Knight trailer video in Avengers Easter Eggs. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.